Yo guys, Roger Tompkins back with another video. Last time we worked out together. This time I'm gonna be doing something a little different. Uh, I wanted to for a while now, um, ever since the series. Of, I mean, it's a pretty sensitive topic, but uh, sensitive events, I guess you can say, happened in my life that, whew, crazy. I guess changed me forever, to be honest with you. So today, uh, conversation of topic or topic of conversation is depression. So this, today's video is about, honestly, uh, a, a well-known topic. I believe everybody goes through it, maybe, on um, different occasions or at different levels. You know, some people, it's very hard, serious. For other people, it's very mild. But I think that everyone has a moment in their life when they, they are battling with some type of depression. Um, I actually have a couple friends that I have lost to depression. Um, but we'll get into that in, in a few minutes. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, this is pretty much something I just wanted to do to help everyone. Uh, you want to talk to me, I'm here. You can email me at rogersumpkins, the number six, at gmail.com if you ever want to talk about anything. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you about myself. My name is Roger Tumpkins. Um I have a beautiful son, Jax. I have a beautiful fiance, Natalie. Um, be look getting married soon. Uh, that would be in January 2020. Look forward to that on Jesse's tutorial uh, blog and blog as well. She is my sister-in-law, a very beautiful spirit, very down-to-earth person. You guys should for sure check her out. Put that down here. We're gonna put her so you can, oh, oh God, okay. We're gonna put her down here so you guys, um, today's video, the reason why I wanted to make it, honestly, 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 I just wanna know, let, let people know that they're not alone. Uh, I know that some topics are alone. They don't, they just don't feel like no one cares. Uh, they're, they're like, they don't, they just, don't have no one there to talk to or discuss with or any of that, which is uh, not true in my eyes. I don't think that no one cares. For sure, for sure, someone cares about you. I don't, I don't know who you are myself, and I don't have to know you. But I know as a human being, caring for another human being, that's for sure I care about you. Um, I don't think that you should go out any way of depression, um, you know, of, of suicide or anything like that. I know that. Um, <clears throat> I know that it's tough, but what I always tell myself that everything's temporary. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing. Trust me, it just doesn't. Um, it's temporary. It will forever be temporary. Um, you know, any a career is temporary. Uh, a job could be temporary. Any, anything of that nature. So to look at it as, you know, I'm going through a lot right now. Yes, you probably are. I can't deny that. I don't know what you're going through. The struggle is your struggle but I just feel like it's temporary. So eventually it will go over, just like a storm. Like a hurricane doesn't last your whole life. A hurricane passes and continues to go to the next place, but it just passes and passes and passes. So if you look at your life as a storm or <clears throat> anything of that nature, it's pretty much temporary. So don't ever feel like it's gonna last because it's not. Just push through it. And I know that's cliche. Oh, everyone says push through it, I'll be okay. But that's the only way that you're gonna get through it and then you're gonna come out stronger than when you first started. I know some people that battle with depression don't like complaining about it or saying anything about it because they feel like no one will listen to you or to them in general. They just feel like they're, you know, they, what's the point? Then I gotta take it in. Then I gotta think of nothing of it. So they just ignore that. They don't wanna tell anyone. They keep it in, they hold it in. And they're very, they hide it very well, very well they hide it. So. I want to talk about that a little bit. No one, if you feel like no one will listen, I don't. I don't think that's true at all. Um, everyone has, you know, their the situations. Um, you, I mean, what I understand is that everyone is going through something. They probably not shows because, like I said, they're very good at hiding it. But everyone is going through something. No matter how rich you are, no matter how poor you are, no matter what you have in life, the most successful person. Trust me, everyone's going through something, and it's just I, I feel like. Uh, <clears throat> Maybe it's a test. Maybe it's like, you know, maybe you're supposed to go through that because whatever you are going through are going to make you strong for sure. But it's a reason why you're going through that because it's going to be an obstacle or a test or anything of that nature that's going to hit you and you're going to be prepared for it. So I feel like everyone uh, has something in there that they're going through, but they just don't feel like talking about it because they feel like no one will listen, which I don't think is true at all. Get time out and let it out. Don't be scared. Don't be 
afraid of talking to them. I don't feel like it's fair to you, nor them if something happened to you because they wasn't aware. But that actually was something that happened to me. So I don't think that you should uh, hold back anything from anyone. Because when I reach out to me, um, I, I'm all there. Honestly, I would love to hear what you are going through or if I can help, let me know. I, I do not mind at all. Um, I know that some people fake happiness <clears throat> so they can cope with the, you know, what they're going through and oh, I'm okay and you know, trust me because that's what happened with me. Um, I'll tell you a little story about what I've been through when it comes to being related to depression, um, which is one of my friends, close, close friends, um, pretty much a groomsman in my wedding, um, committed suicide. It was um, this past year that he did this. And honestly, every single day, I miss this guy. I love this guy. I talk to this guy every single day. And it's weird because I feel presence when he when he when he's here. And I know when he's listening and when he's around. So it's just interesting to me. And the crazy part is that I feel like he had uh, even better purpose in life or in this world, but maybe he served it already. <clears throat> um, but pretty much one day I got a call at work that said um, pretty much, oh, did you know this person, you know, killed himself you know just and at, at that moment i was like nah like you're playing with me. april fools or I, I don't know i just don't I, I highly doubt that person out of all people that, that person would do that like it was for sure impossible to believe so immediately when i heard that i hung up the phone all right let's figure this out called him he wasn't answering so i was like what's going on right now called him again wasn't answering called him again wasn't answering so that's when it said in that holy, you know, holy, what, what's going on? I don't know what happened. And I just saw this person about two or three weeks prior to the incident. So, and he was very happy. Oh, we were supposed to hang out, go fishing, um, do other things, go bowling, shoot pool. We had a, a list of things that we were supposed to do. And all of a sudden, he's not here no more. <clears throat> so, received that call. Denial, denial, denial. Um, call one of my friends. He didn't even know about it, which is our third closest friend. Um, we're all like a little group, I guess you can say. And he didn't know anything about it. So finally, I was like, forget it. Uh, broke down at work, left work, went straight to his house. And as I'm pulling up, I see cars packed, packed. The house is packed with cars. And I was just like, yeah, now this is real. And at that moment, <clears throat> At that moment, I knew that something wasn't right. Uh, I got out of the car, I saw his mom first, and then immediately when I you know, said, oh, I used to work with him, she immediately triggered. She started crying. I just felt like there was nothing that I can do or at that moment, but I felt like I should have been there. Because like I said, this, this guy, will, when I'm down, he will keep me up. When I don't want to be to work, he will talk to me. Whenever he just he's a happy person a bubbly person but i felt like maybe that was his purpose um maybe that's who god made him and brought him in my t my life so i can do things like this or look at life totally different because now i seriously do i don't know you i don't have to know you but i care for you i don't have to talk to you just know that i'm here to listen to you and if you want to just vent let me know i i, I don't mind because i don't want no one to be forgotten or lost or not even cared about or feel like they're forgotten or lost not even care about because it's not true like i said i don't know you but i care for you so <clears throat> after getting um pretty much going through that situation with one of my best friends in the world i just want to let people know and let them in my life that you know if you want to talk i'm here if you want to meet up i'm here if you want to do anything of that nature, you know, I'm here. So, yeah, just a little serious topic. I know that a lot of people are going through things in the world when it comes to that. And it seems like a big topic. That, like, growing up, honestly, growing up, never heard about it. When I was in elementary school and middle school, never really heard about this. It's like, I, I don't get it. It's, it's new. 
and I guess more people are talking about it. But uh, like I said, I'm here to listen. So whatever I can do, man, to help, please let me know. Email me. Like I said, the, the email will be in the description. Roger Tompkins, the number six at gmail.com. I do not mind. Um, if you guys need anything, if I can do it, I'm doing it. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to do this YouTube and all this is for this moment, um, serious conversations that are going on just in general in the world. But, uh, you know, also this channel will be consisting of, you know, fun activities. I'm honestly a goofy person. Um, people will say, oh, you have the personality for this and all that, but I just like having fun, man. Like, it's just, to me, it's it's just me being me. I'm not gonna lie, I like being annoying sometimes. I'm sorry. My fiance, I don't know how she does it with me, to be honest. A lot of apologizing for me, <laughs> for sure. But, uh, yeah, man, I just, this is for sure has a, a better purpose. So uh, I want to give back. You're going to see videos of that. Um, I always wanted to do that. So for sure, this is a platform that I can do it at. Or even if it's not on this platform, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just want to show that people are loving and caring in this world. Um, and no matter what I go through, I don't have it all. Um, I don't call myself rich. Well, I don't call myself rich physically. Like as far as the paper money in my hand, but mentally, spiritually, and honestly, I feel like a rich person because I can't ask for anything better than what I have now, as far as in what I have. So to me, I want to thank everyone that I could thank, but this is just a new journey for me and I wanted to just bring you guys along. So get ready for fun videos, active videos, I don't know, sports, it doesn't even matter. Uh, it's, it's, you'll see, just enjoy. Like and subscribe, comment below. Um, tell me what you think uh, of a good name for this because I'm trying to go far. Uh, I want to, you know, uh, meet up with people and have meet and greets and all that. I know it's going to start off maybe slow, who knows. But uh, this is something that I want to do in, in my spare time or anytime I have, so. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Share, please share. You know your boy Toronto, you feel me? I'm Roger Tompkins, and I'm out.